Hello, this is Laylee, and I'm Yuka. Who might you be? I'm Nimble, and I like the look of you two, I must say. How about we see who's more racy? I can be racist. Watch this. Hi guys, I'm Ed. I'm Harry. Welcome to the long-awaited release of Ukulele, the spiritual successor to Banjo Kazooie and a series of other sort of rare based N64 3D platformers. This best. hasn't actually come out yet, but we've been given a sneak preview by Team 17. So thank you to Danny at Team 17 for doing that. So I'm quite excited to play this because it's been long awaited. There's already been some reviews that have come out that haven't been too positive, but hey, I'm going in with an open mind. I'm just excited. It's been so long since I played a, like a proper rare game. I, mean, I know it's not rare anymore, but like the team that made those games, they were legendary. They made such good titles, and then they also expanded when Microsoft bought Rare, and they were putting these kind of terrible games like Connect Sports, things like that. So I'm very excited to see them returning to form with something like this. So here we have the main villain of the series. Okay. Everything has been prepared to your specification, capital B. The workforce is now yours. They've still got that rare style kind of speech pattern. Uh, he's made a golden statue of himself. He must be the villain. Hmm. Do you think this new statue is golden enough? <laughs> Or too golden. Focus test it. These employees need someone to look up to. I don't like that I can't skip any of the speeches, but all right. Hold on, what is that? <laughs> A crude duck. That's the vice president statue, sir. <laughs> I didn't sign off on that. Plus, it's casting an awkward shadow on the president's plinth. Bin it. <laughs> Interesting that they chose to use um, dialogue boxes as opposed to actual dialogue. I suppose they're keeping in style of what the old games were because the other ones didn't have any voice acting. Well, they did, but you feel like back in the day that was because it was an N64 cartridge that had limitations. That's what I mean there, so they're probably just harking back to that. Prepare the device immediately. I want to be on World 4's golf course by lunchtime. <laughs> Not really sure what's going on in the story right now. I think we've probably been dicking around too much to pay attention. It's funny because he can't press the button properly. Isn't this amusing? Ah, they're doing something to books and letters. He looks awfully like a combination of minions and the guy who the minions serve. Right, so here we go. We're being introduced to our protagonists now. Okay, lovely. I like, it's already got a Ratchet and Clanky kind of vibe to the open world. It feels like one of the planets you'd land on. Yeah, it does actually. Ah! So that's Yuka, yes. right? That's Yuka, and then that's Laylee. Laylee. The bat is Laylee. That'll be my vibrant paint job. She's not going to be this kind of nine. I was a star in the 80s. So they're already mates then? Interesting. Yeah, they've already been like living together. At some point during the quest. Yeah, it's not Ratchet and Clank where they start meeting each other. They're already established as long-term friends who live together in an abandoned ship. This opening dialogue doesn't really add anything to the game. It's just it's it's just adding some charm, a little bit of backstory. Which I'm very thankful not to have a very long sort of tutorial sequence where you play as Yuka first, then get introduced to Lady, then play as them both for a bit, and then da da da. Well, there is the, the <laughs> section that comes after this where you have to learn everything. Oh. oh no! The book is being lifted away, but those pages are a distinct <laughs> colour that will probably end up being part of the game. That's Am a I wrong? Book. The pages! They're escaping! I have a nasty feeling our face is covering some of the dialogue, but fuck you, we're reading it all. I think that book is a bit more special than you thought, Laylee. Who knows? All right. Quick, after it. It's worth even more now that it's a flying book. This is a good point. Fair. Quickly, to our first NPC. Now, this is uh. Trouser Snake. <laughs> <laughs> all right, pals, lovely to see you. So in the Jan Animations animation of Ukulele, Trouser Snake is voiced by X the Dark One, Yuka is voiced by Shadybox, and Laylee is voiced by Eileen Montgomery. Mm. Now Shadybox does actually have a character in this game, and we're going to run into him before we reach the first level. Ooh. So we might see him in this video, who knows? Hey Trouser, I can't get over Trouser Snake, I like that rarish charm. Perhaps you can find enough in those treasure chests lying around. So we have to find five quills in these treasure chests. Yes, use the X button to attack. Yes, that's fine, we know. Boom! So we've got our first quill. So we have to find five quills, and then he'll let us in. But it's very old school rare, actually, sort of collecting, you know, certain kind of things to progress to the next level. Yeah. It, I mean, it's old school, but I mean, I have no problem with that. 
Music sounds old school as well. It does. Usual style, I love it. Now, the biggest criticism of this game has been its camera control. So far, I'm not... I mean, I'm not far enough into the game to really find it a problem, but I don't really understand what the problems are. Uh, it's quite slow reacting. Well, they released a patch, didn't they? Well, I mean, the game isn't out, so I don't know. Aha! Another one! Good! We're four ways there. <laughs> Ooh, what are you? He's cool. I like the character designs. Blasto! Hi, Blasto! How are you feeling today? <laughs> not so good. My throat hurts, and I've almost totally lost my voice. Because he's a cannon. It's I see. great. <laughs> That'll be last night's karaoke. Oh no, that's not how she sounds, but oh, oh well. <laughs> he can't close his lips, so I'm having to speak like that. I see you, treasure chest. Give me my final quill. Yes, we've made it. I give. That seems to be enough to jog my memory. Come back here. I love okay. this look. He's, He's great. So cool. The character designs in pretty much all of them are very cool. There's the other one I know of is Rextro, who's quite heavily featured in this because his he's obsessed with arcades and the multiplayer game is all around arcades. Hello, what's going on over here? Another there's guess. more. I didn't realize we could collect more. Oh my god, there's more optional ones to collect. Look at this nice little level design. I like this. This looks great. Mm. Ooh, that doesn't look foreboding as shit. Okay. Probably best not to fall down there. Look, another chest. This is magnificent fun. How rewarding. Swipe. We've got seven. Seven. Seven quills. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I think that's everything. Except we haven't been up onto the ship. Let's check the ship. I found one on the ship. We just found a butterfly. Mmm, I'm a okay. tasty butterfly energy. Be nice and collect me to refill your power bar. I don't think we've been introduced to the power bar. Ooh, what was that? Oh, if I jump a breast square, I do a roll. Cool. Yeah, the problem being, like, with old rare games, like, if you missed one little thing, just out of, you know, chance, you wouldn't be able to progress, and you have to backtrack and try and find it, which is quite irritating. Well, this game does feature a lot of that, so one of the uh, things in many of the articles of things I wish I knew before I started playing ukulele, a lot of them are, if an area feels impossible, it's literally impossible, and you have to come back later, so don't... Don't try and fool yourself into thinking you can achieve whatever the goal is. Fair play. Come on. No. There's got to be a way to get the last one. There must be ten in here somewhere. Sod it. We'll come back another time. Let's progress. Trouser! Your name is a hilarious pun on the word penis. Go on then, Lispy. Spill the beans. Where's our book? Your book headed towards the business. Beyond the gate. Strange things going on by since Ivory Towers Corpse. Yes, we get it. I'm headed there myself to sell some moves. Allow me to raise the gate. Good. Thank you for your help. I love his retro cell phone. Indeed. It's a callback to the 90s when they were actually making games. Quite. Uh, or was it more 80s, though, that size phone? Uh, Very I late suppose, 80s. Yeah. yeah. Well, later, early 90s, aren't they? When Rare was at their peak. Why are you teaching me to jump now? I'm sorry, but most people playing games these days aren't stupid kids who don't understand shit. Most kids understand how games work, so... I don't get this whole really holding your hand through the tutorial sections. We need to crouch to get beyond this big sign. On that one, I needed. Can we fly? I presume with, you know, Laylee we'd be able to fly a bit, but... Yeah, so you can do a double jump, and I imagine there will be some gliding sections later. Right. In the water, we can use L to swim. Yeah, great. What now? What now? Down, I oh, I can dive. Ooh, go. excellent. So far, so good. We better watch the air meter, though. We don't want to drown. Ha <laughs> ha, on the nose dialogue. Let's carry on. What are those blue things up there? They look even shiftier than trouser. Maybe they're lost. They don't look lost. I doubt it. If I were us, and I'm 50% of us, I'd attack them with X. Unlike those soft shooters, our health bar won't auto-refill. Uh-oh. <laughs> You're right. But if they do attack us, I can always eat a nearby butterfly uh, by pressing B to regain some health. Okay. That's good. Good use of dialogue to explain yep. the mechanics. I mean, guys. <laughs> I don't know. It's quite... What they're teaching us is like the most basic form of game design there is, which is use attack button, attack small enemies. Yeah, but it's not, you know... How much explaining do they really need to do? Young players might need a little bit. Just but this is the thing, is all young players nowadays have been part of games for long enough. Like, how much hand-holding do you need these days? We still need to explain the basic controls. Mm. I mean, you know, back in the days when these games came out, you have a manual with them. You don't get that anymore. No, you do not. No trespassing! This is private property! Well, I'm coming on in, so fuck you. 
Hello, we're searching for our missing book. It looked like it went this way. Can you let me in? Your, most, yeah, your book belongs to us now, as will most of the world's supply before long. Wahaha. That's a weird business plan. Are you opening a bookmobile? Actually, it's just one book we're particularly interested in. Now, scram before I call security. I'm not, I'm not trying very hard to give this lot diverse voices, so shut up. We should investigate. They always, they're always voices from choices. <laughs> we should definitely investigate, all right. <laughs> so that's supposed to be Chris. No, that was Logan. I must say, this is one of the most beautiful 3D platformers I've ever played. Admittedly, it is on PC, so it's going to look a lot better than the console versions. But looking at things like Jack and Daxter and all the other, you know, N64 ones that will look shit, this does look amazing. The shading, the textures, it all looks so cool, and it really does add something to what's already quite a well-established format. Well, I was wondering they were always um, ahead of the curve on uh, Rare. It's you certainly, you know, certainly towards the end of the N64 cycle, they were the ones that were really pioneering. Like, Conquest by 30 was miles ahead of anything else in terms of shading, colouring, and that kind of stuff. We found our first page. What do pages do? I don't know. I think they're the collectibles we have to do. Why did you go ahead and collect it? I found out what's going on. I'd go myself, but I've got an important call coming up with the World 1 boss. <laughs> ah, apparently you can't necessarily beat the World 1 boss. He's after my super Super moves. Oh, no. Mm. Yeah, right. Okay. Do we mm. need that from him then? Well, I don't know. Where are you showing us? Are they burning books? Yes. Jesus, that's a bit dark. I mean, it's not the hardest place to reach, guys. I don't need you to show me all the- No, I don't need you to show me this. I'm not a kid who's been in a serious accident. And let's be honest. This game isn't aimed at kids who've been in serious accidents. This game is aimed at people who played rare games in the 90s so that they can appreciate the charm and the references. Well, I, I mean, said, maybe it's for both. It in there, you know, so. But that's not, I mean, I don't understand the logic there. Yep, things back in the day when they hadn't really done games for a long time weren't very good. So the thing to do is heart back and make things not very good again. Doesn't really make sense. Well, not very, you know, I don't think it's quite not very good as fair. It's like it no, it is because at the time, you know, games hadn't progressed that much. So in compar relatively speaking, it's not very good in terms of graphics, in terms of gameplay control. It's simplistic. You can call it that. You know, well, maybe, maybe it'll. What I'm often happening in these games was it started very simple, and as the game progressed, it would get progressively harder, and there'd be more elements introduced, and you'd you know learn more as it went on. Maybe that's what they're doing. I mean, that's not really answered why they're taking so long to explain basic sections, but yeah. Hello there, who might you be? I'm a pagey. Oh god. I live inside the all-powerful one book. The one book? How much is one of those worth? The one book is incredibly powerful, and it's been stolen by the evil capital B. Interesting name choice. If capital B unlocks the power within, his crooked company will have the power to rewrite the universe. Yeah. Luckily, us pages have fled the one book and gone into hiding. Without pages, the one book is just an empty shell. Okay. Right. If you use me to unlock one of the grand tomes in this factory, we can transport to another world and search for more of my friends. Right. Seems fair. Don't worry. We'll help you, Pagey. Come on, Laylee. Let's find one of those grand tomes and search for more pages. Sounds sensible. Sounds like we've set up the point of this game. Hey, pals. I believe I can assist you on your quest. Why don't you come and see me for the details? What is he on? What is the game? I don't know. There's something fishy about him. About his trousers. How about we make a deal? Okay. For every grand term you unlock, I'll help your quest with a new move, free of charge. Actually, that does sound pretty good. That sounds like a great deal, Trouser. We're in. Super. Your first complimentary move is one of my trademark abilities. If you hold down right trigger, you'll get the grip you need <laughs> to roll up slippery ramps. Ooh, that's actually very handy. Great. The longer you use the move, the more you'll drain your power bar. So roll all wisely. Yeah. Instead of eating butterflies, you can collect them and refill your power. Uh, uh, yeah, we get it. Good, and it's pointing us to our first area. Now, there is also the option to go back and then go up the ramps that we couldn't previously get up to, I imagine, get some extra collectibles. But fuck it, we're playing a video, not playing the game to 100% it. Let's carry on with the story. Yeah, see, that's great. So, as I said, it's introducing more elements as you play through it. I mean, that was always a, a trademark of Rare Games. That's nice to see they brought that back. Is it a trademark of Rare Games or just games in general to explain how things work? One well, of things like Banjo Tui, Banjo Kazooie, again, Conquer. All those classic rare games, they did this kind of structure. And it worked very well, you know. Right. You've been locked in a metal prison. The pamphlets yeah. sure are pushy. Where are the keys? There is no key. Keep you not solving nearby, nearby puzzles. I've not learned the correct move. Oh, we'll never get this one. We'll have to come back and see him later. Hey, are these platonic things? Oh, I already know what I have to do. I have to change that to pagey. But fuck it. Fuck you, game, for arbitrarily stapling bullshit on here. 
What are you? What do you do? There must be a reason for you. Another block of some kind. These will all be used with different moves later on to get that pagey, but fuck it. Let's roll. Ooh, a giant book. Another pagey. Hey, you made it to the first Grand Tome. Nice. Hooray! The Grand Tomes are magical gateways, new worlds, ivory towers. Hang on a sec. I don't think that's him. I'm trying to establish which one of these is Shady Box. He hasn't told me which character he is, but oh, I yeah, know yes. he's one of them. Yeah. <laughs> Right, now take me. If I bounce on here, what happens? Oh, it will cost you one page to unlock this world. That's fine. Yep. Right. Let's go. We're going to the Tribal Tropics. Return here later and I'll reveal more about Grand Tomes. Okay. Oh. okay. Is there anything up here? I noticed this in the corner of my eye. Oh, for fuck's sake. They need to go into the book. Well, I'm just checking stuff first. Aha. There's secrets. I knew there'd be secrets. I'm guessing that's for later on in the game. Hmm, perhaps. Oh, well, let's move on. Ah, I'm in the trees. Take me. Oh, Ooh. God, I've been crushed to death. Tribal Stack Tropics. All right. Welcome. Ooh, this looks very, uh... So many feathers. Wow. What's the game I'm thinking of called? Crash Bandicoot. Are you going to be... Oh, I didn't hit a single <laughs> one. Sort of. Are you going to be getting Crash Bandicoot for PlayStation 4? Yeah, I love the original games, so I'm looking forward to the remaster. I have no interest. Did you have fun growing up or I, not? I did. You just didn't enjoy them, or...? I mean, they weren't particularly special games to me growing up. I just kind of played them and thought, eh, those were fun, I guess. No. Never really saw the appeal of why everyone else loved them so much. Well, like I said, I was more of an N64 man myself as opposed to PS1. I had N64 as opposed to PS1, so uh, those are my games. But Crash Bandicoot was always good fun. Uh, yeah, each to their own. This is awfully satisfying. They're very, very small challenges, but I like them. <gasps> Who are you?! Are you asking me to feed you something? Yeah. What do you want? What do you want me to feed you, little guy? Look how many of these fucking quills there are. I think I heard these were to find earlier. Fuck you! Fuck you, little kid! Hello? This guy? <laughs> you look like a racy pair! Hello, this is Laylee, and I'm Yuka. Who might you be? I'm Nimble, and I like the look of you two, I must say. How about we see who's more racy? I can be racist. Watch this. Let's race. Cloud-based racing. How <laughs> next gen. Good stuff. Yeah, I tell you what it feels more like. It feels more like um, Mario 64, with like the overworld, and you go into course, and you have characters to interact with to do that quest, and doing all the quests and looks and that things. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's going fine. I better stop rolling. Oh, no, keep rolling. For fuck's sake, keep rolling. Oh, no. No, please. No. I'm still rolling. I'm still rolling. It's all going fine. Oh, yes. I'm doing fine. I'm doing absolutely fine. Ugh. PG. It looks like you found enough quills for my first move. Stop by my office for a fantastic offer. Ooh. Good, we've got more moves. Not that it matters at this stage. Yay! Did we win? I thought I ran out of stuff! Impressive! I can't believe you finished ahead of me! Yay! Yeah, yeah, hand over the page, ye Clandy Foss. Whoa, Jesus. Candy Foss features? Oh, it's shitting out a page! That's disgusting! Great. Yay. Well, now I guess we should probably visit Trouser, but we might do that in the next episode. Guys, if you've enjoyed seeing Ukulele before it's even out, be sure to like the video, subscribe to GameOg if you already haven't, and leave us a comment letting us know your favourite rare games from the past, and if you'd like us to carry on playing some of Ukulele. Otherwise, guys, we will see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye, Bye.